in five, four, three, two, one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen, but this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you, because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, the Double RT, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. The Double RT Boxing Show. This is the show you tuned into. Uh, you know me. I am Mr. A. And if you're a new viewer, you just been introduced into me. Waiting for the scorecards. Jose Ukat- Ukatsuki taking on Ezekiel Mandura. Uh, strange day, September 28th is. Strange, strange day. Dude, the whole fight, I was like, why do I know Mandura? They even been doing the breakdown. I researched him for a fight against Martin Rios, who fought some, uh, no, was it Ubekistan guy? I, I watched him for a research for another fighter, and he's, I've seen the same thing. He's just, what's the scorecards here? Double RT boxing show. I don't know why I'm even worried about the scorecards. He's, he should lose this fight. Uh, strange, strange performance, you know. This top rank cheesecake showcasing scorecard. You've seen German Acosta's get awarded a draw. Like I said, I don't want to say awarded because if you go watch the segment, I can yeah, I, I understand the draw. You know, I had him losing. Okay, I got fights on in the background. I'm going to have to rewatch this fight. I see David Haney just became the new NABA F uh, IBF champion. So I'll definitely rewatch that fight. And I was kind of just glancing at it, but watching this Jose fight. Um, Jose, he was his typical self, just not aggressive. They said it best. It was a, it was a sparring session. It was a sparring session. You know, I'm not gonna read too much into it right now. It would have been nice to see him finish him in like rounds nine or ten, because he was able to hit him at will when he wanted to, with whatever punch he wanted to uh, hit Moderna with. Moderna landed a few right hands here and there, snapped his head back. Now they kept saying that his head is over his feet. He's he being Jose that he's ready. He's open for an uppercut. Um, we don't know. It could have been just this this fighter. You know, he just was very lackadaisical with his defense, his offense. Uh, he gave some rounds. Just he, just he just melded in. Now, what I do wonder is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this theory. You guys, maybe you agree with it. Maybe you don't. Now, Ukatsuki is going around saying he is the boogeyman, he's the bully, no one wants to fight him, blah, 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 even though Caleb Plant's already saying that's the, after my hand recovers and I'm not taking a tune up, I'm coming right at you. Was this his way of bringing coaxing fighters in? You know, if he looks dominant and, you know, and people don't have to fight him and they find a way around him, they find a way around him. But if he looks like this against this guy where fighters start to say hey well he's vulnerable I can fight him I'll fight him and so I, I literally was thinking that he carried this guy around to lower people's uh, belief of the fear in him so they take his fight a little easier I think that's about 30 40 percent true I think he did this on purpose for that factor and make it easier for him to get the championship unification fights and then half of me just thinks he's like hey i know this is an easy paycheck so i'm not, I'm not gonna try it's because the, there was nothing he couldn't do when he wanted to do it you know he, he he did sloppy defense on purpose 
he fucking fought hard when he wanted to fight hard. It was like it was like I said, it was a sparring session under the big lights. Everything everything was easy for him. Moderna was the same guy I saw in the film studies. You know, your typical good local fight in Argentina, put him under the big lights. You know, it's he turns into someone different, cowers up. So I don't know, man. I don't know. But it's a good, good, solid win for Jose. Double RT Boxing Show. Good, solid win for him, but very disappointed that he didn't finish this guy. If I, I, let's see what this see. This time, I'm actually gonna leave the interview on because I want to hear this one. Cause normally, I, I don't, I don't drag you guys along for interviews. But I want to hear this. Let's let's go over this shit. Double RT Boxing. Follow the show on Twitter at RTV Show. Okay. Uh, I don't like his body language during this interview. Yes. Yes. Told you. Told you. Told you. Told you. My plan was to go ten rounds. Show some. Show I look normal. Maybe some other guys will want to fight me. Told you that was his strategy. But it, it was. It was. You can tell, man. You can tell this guy. You could tell he just wasn't trying. The, could, the fights we've seen, this guy's. I want to like, I won't go as far as saying a boogeyman or a monster, but he's definitely more aggressive against a guy. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Double RT boxing. The part of the plan is to take this show from 513 subscribers on up to 1,000. Please subscribe to the show. Thank you for your time and support. Twitter, RRTB Show, at RRTB Show. Thank you for your time and support.